Hello everybody, this is Dan Bigman. I am your GPR professor from LearnGPR.com. And uh, I'm coming at you today from Seoul, Korea. I'm in a layover heading uh, uh, elsewhere in Asia for some interesting stuff going on. I'm actually about to board now. You see this line right there, that one right there behind me? Okay, that whole line all the way over here, here, all that, okay? That's the line, so I figured instead of getting on the line first, I'll give you some value um, before I go to my third plane in this, in this trip. Um, so what I'm going to talk today about is the use of color schemes in your presentation of GPR data. I was called in on a legal case recently, and uh, um, you may have seen some other videos that I did about the problems with the work that these folks did, or at least with their write-up. Um, but in, in the legal case, it was basically like this. They were evaluating, an engineering company was evaluating a slab that you know, may or may not have had condition problems, right? So they're doing a condition assessment on it. One of the things they were supposed to look for were delaminations, okay? Cracks, voids, things like that. And GPR is a justifiable tool to investigate those problems or the possibility of those problems or the, the presence of those issues within the concrete slab. But in the report write-up, in the presentation of the GPR data, this engineering firm put all the vertical profile information in a symmetrical color scheme. So what I mean by that is the positive part of the signal was orange and the negative part of the signal was orange. And this is a, a, a big no-no if you're trying to find voids because Polarity matters. Polarity matters, positives and negatives, when you're trying to search for voids or delaminations. And how do you tell the difference between maybe a small void that's the size of a ping pong ball or something like that compared to a, uh, um, a steel rebar? Well, the response is gonna be flip-flop, right? You're gonna get a, what we call a, a polarity shift or a polarity reversal. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out our other uh, uh, videos on YouTube and uh, or go to Learn GPR and sign up for our courses. I go into a deep dive about polarity and finding voids and cavities and things like that. Give examples, give case studies um, at learngpr.com in our online programs. So go check those out if you don't know what I'm talking about. Nonetheless, is it you're supposed to look for a shift in polarity. That's usually represented by different colors. The problem that these engineering folks did was they used a color scheme that had orange on the positive side, orange on the negative side, and could not tell the difference between a void or a delamination or anything else. So when I reviewed their work, I said, I can't tell if there are voids in here or not. Now their conclusion was there were no voids, no delaminations. My conclusion was you can't tell whether there's voids or delaminations because of the color scheme they used. Don't use a symmetrical color scheme if you're trying to look for uh, uh, voids, okay? Use a gradation, like a gray scale, or a blue scale, or a green scale, or a chrome scale. Use something like that, or use, uh, uh, you know, red as positive, blue as negative. Something like that. Okay, use two different colors for positive and negative if you're looking for voids. So, little point today. Uh, um, and, and, and uh, uh, make sure you know what you're doing when, when you're carrying out GPR. If you just got the GPR and you think, it, you know, I'm going to use it as a cool new toy that I got, um, get trained first because you might have somebody like me who they bring in to review your work, okay, or somebody else who knows what they're doing who's been trained properly. So if you haven't been trained properly, make sure you get trained properly. Certainly, we'd like to train you here at Learn GPR. Uh, head over to LearnGPR.com. Check out our, our upcoming workshops. Check out our online programs and subscribe to the channel or like the page and uh, go to learngpr.com, put your name and email address in. You'll get our um, introductory course absolutely free and then we'll send you these videos to your inbox every single week. So thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get on the tail end of this line over here and catch the last leg of my flight. But thank you so much. I wish you the best.